six weeks of school holidays have begun. Wondering how you can make it extra memorable for your kids? Take them to meet their favorite cartoon characters, including those from Disney to Pokemon to Line Friends. They can also experience winter wonders and go snow tubing without leaving Singapore. Here are some free and ticketed programs where families can relax, play, and also do their part for charities. Grab a snow tube and go on a 5M long slide or a 3M long ice luge. Bounce on a seesaw amid snowfall or play mini golf on a course made entirely of ice. Your kids can experience winter fun in this 630 SQM wonderland without flying out of Singapore. Each ticket includes rental of jacket and snow boots for both adults and children above three, but wear your own long pants, socks and gloves. Alternatively, you can rent or buy them at the event. If your kids are below three years old, they need to take along their own winter apparel. Next to the Candy Snow House is an indoor carnival with games, rides, and food. Stand to win Disney merchandise at the game booths and claw machines. There is a good variety of kiddie rides, such as a pirate ship for those below 1.4m tall. Children who are at least 5 years old and 1.1m tall can experience go-cutting here. If you are a Changey Rewards member, redeem a free play session at the Bouncy Castle for one child between 0.9 and 1.4m tall. After all that excitement, check out the pop-up food stalls and fuel up on international delights, such as South Korean cheese coins, Swiss Rosti and Thai-style grilled squid. Where, Changi Airport Terminal 3, outside the arrival hall and near the Coach Bay area. When, until March 31st. Various timings. Admission, Candy Snow House costs $18 a person via the Changi app for an hour of playtime. There is no age limit, but kids below 7 must be accompanied by an adult. Tokens are required for the games and rides at the free admission candy carnival. The Ice Magic Snow Park is packed with 3,000 SQM of snow and ice activities. This is 600 SQ and larger than its inaugural edition in Singapore in 2022. Among the new experiences is the merry-go-round on ice, an 8M white carousel ride that glides you around on a snow tube. You can also ski down a 98M long slope that is longer than last year's 70M. Each ticket includes rental of jacket and snow boots for both adults and children from 2 years old, but wear your own long pants, socks and gloves. Ice Magic is billed as Asia's largest touring pop-up winter playground and first opened in Beijing in 2008. Brown wants to welcome your family to his home. His line friends buddies Kony, Choco and Sally are here to help play host too. You will want to say yes to his invitation. His 4M tall house has four slides that send you down to a mega pit filled with glistening white balls. Making it seem like you are playing in the snow. Spend at least $50 at the mall, then go to its customer service counters to redeem an entry pass. Each pass allows up to three people to play for 20 minutes. Kids have to be at least 85 centimeters tall, and those aged 12 and below must be supervised by an adult. Everyone has to wear long pants and socks to enter. While redeeming your entry pass, you can also buy Line Friends premiums such as umbrellas and chair cushions. Or hop over to a pop up store near Brown's house for a greater selection. Complete your visit by snapping some family pictures at the Line Friends themed Christmas tree outside Tower 1. Here, your kids can also enjoy rides and games at a carnival managed by Chikit's Amusement. Warner Brothers Studio is celebrating its 100th birthday, and it has assembled some of its most iconic characters to mark the milestone with fans in Singapore. Take pictures with life-size figures of DC superheroes The Flash, Batman, 
Wonder Woman and Superman. There are standees of the Looney Tunes characters too. Giant inflatables of Tom and Jerry were supposed to be part of the exhibition. Unfortunately, Jerry the mouse was allegedly stolen, and Tom the cat now sits alone on Siloso Beach near Emerald Pavilion. Show up your knowledge about the studio's rich history through interactive exhibitions and watch its blockbuster hits, such as Charlie and the Chocolate Factory 2005 on November 25th. The outdoor movie screenings take place on Friday to Sunday evenings. Rows of seats at the venue have been removed to create a generous unblocked space. So you can walk around freely, stand or sit on the floor to enjoy a 360-degree show for the next hour or so. Scenes from over 60 classics and newer Disney animated films, such as Encanto 2021, are projected on the walls with accompanying visual effects on the ceiling and floor. This makes fans feel like they are part of the stories, for example, when Rofiki presents Simba at Pride Rock, The Lion King. 1994 Your kids can also visit Ariel Under the Sea The Little Mermaid, 1989 and sing their hearts out alongside Elsa Frozen, 2013. Each ticket includes an interactive wristband, which lights up in colours, to match the scenes. The show premiered in Toronto in December 2022 and has since been presented in 13 North American cities as well as Tokyo. The Singapore Stop is the first in Southeast Asia and is presented by Base Entertainment Asia in partnership with Walt Disney Animation Studios. Pikachu and friends have put on their festive outfits as they ride on Singapore cable cars cabins again. The Pokemon tie-up was introduced in May as part of a year-long celebration ahead of Singapore Cable Car's 50th anniversary in February 2024. Now, the interior of all 67 cabins on the Mount Faber line have been spruced up with five festive theme wraps. The exterior, which used to feature only the iconic red and white poke ball, now sports four other poke ball designs, the blue and red great ball, Black and Yellow Ultra Ball, Purple and Pink Master Ball and Pink Love Ball. Before your family takes the ride from Mount Faber Peak, pick up a free Pokemon-themed sun visor at the ticketing counter. Be sure to check out two cabins from the early days, which are on display near the Mount Faber station and refurbished with Pokemon wraps too. Plaza Singapore Mall's car park on Level 7, has been converted temporarily into a wee cool retro-themed roller skating space. Zoom around and spin along on skates with LED lit wheels to pump up music in the background. Participants of all ages are welcome to join the activity. Younger ones should be supervised by adults at all times. Protection gear will be provided and beginner skaters can use training devices for support. The space is not air-conditioned, so do wear something light. Skate to your heart's content, then play at the adjoining arcade managed by Time Zone. The Watoto Children's Choir from Uganda is back to spread festive cheer with uplifting songs and dances. The group, which last performed here in 2019, is on an Asian tour that kicked off in Hong Kong and will go to Malaysia after the Singapore stop. Made up of kids who have lost one or both parents. The choir has travelled extensively since 1994 to raise money and awareness for the Watoto orphanages in their home country. The Singapore Show is in collaboration with non-profit organisation The Salvation Army. Donations are encouraged and can be made on site. From November 25th to December 22nd, those aged 16 and above can sign up to be the Salvation Army's bell ringers. Its annual Christmas kettling requires volunteers at multiple locations to ring a bell next to a red kettle and call for donations. This is part of a tradition that began in 1891 in the United States. A 6M tall Olaf inflatable is soaking in the festivities 
near Paragon Shopping Center's entrance. The summer-loving snowman is here on a mission. Commissioned by Queen Anna to invite Singaporeans to visit World of Frozen in Hong Kong Disneyland. The attraction is home to the world's first frozen-themed land and will launch on November 20. In the mall are a life-size Lego display of Elsa and a pop-up for frozen merchandise by Metro Department Store. On December 1, 2, 8 and 9, kids aged 5 to 12 can enjoy crafts, games and treats such as chocolate painting with a chocolatier from Janice Wong Sweets Boutique. A bouldering session by Boulder World and ice cream by Kind Cones. The Smurfs have made City Square more their village this festive season. You will spot them throughout the complex and even more outside, where a majestic Christmas tree is decorated with hundreds of them. On the first three weekends in December, get up close with Popper Smurf and Smurfette at 4 and 7 p.m. There are 40 meet and greet passes every session and you can redeem one when you spend at least $50 at the mall. Plus, take your kids to shop at its atrium's Christmas marketplace from December 1st to 17th. Brands under Enterprising Mums, United and other social enterprises will also set up booths here from December 1st to 10th. In conjunction with SG Care's Giving Week, to sell a range of mostly handcrafted items, such as toys, bags, and accessories. From December 15 to 24, get your gifts wrapped at $2 each. All proceeds will go to the Care Community Services Society.